back everybody to another video today we're at captain octane as always it's being april 11th uh, so first walking through the parking lot of course we got to start out we have a 675 lt sitting there in this beautiful shade of black i mean you see it it's a really low car it's a really cool car so let's check out everything else they have in the main show and see if there's any cool anything cool all right well we're gonna start over here with the tie bars you see that's a mustang over there so you know just turn you got a good few cars, you got a, quite a few Type R's over there, you got some uh, Supras over there, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go check some of those out, right there. So we have a red one, and a white one, and a gray one, I really like. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, that one's really cool. This white one's actually really clean. Almost has a matte finish to it. I really like this gray color, I've always been a fan of this gray color, it's really cool. Uh, the gray finish really gives it, you know, that modern stance. You have that, you know, cool sports car type stance, which is really cool being a JDM car, even though it's, you know, half uh, German. But um, let's come over here. Now, as I've said on the channel multiple times. Oh my. As I said on the channel. Okay, okay. You good now? All right. So as I've said multiple times, one of my dream project cars is to get an RSX Type S. And the best thing right now, there's quite a few of them right here, but uh, yeah. Again, the RSX Type S, you know, that is the Integra overseas, so it's really cool that they brought them here. But yeah, RSX Type S is one of my favorite cars, and I'm glad to see a lot of them here. Of course, supercars are all in good, but, you know, off-roading deserves it. Caffeine Octane has some off-roading too. Now, here is a Toyota 4Runner. It's a T... It doesn't look like a TRD Pro. It is a TRD Pro which is really cool, but it's really modded. I really like that. I really like how all the mods that people do. Now, you know, you can buy a TRD Pro stock, but when you really mod it, that's when you really see the type of creativity that people have. And I really like these rims, these bronze. They look really cool. Everything looks really cool. So I'm really like what this one, I really like what they did with this uh, Toyota 4Runner. Just being a TRD Pro, modding it up to what it is, I, I think that's really cool. Getting creative with your personal car is one of the best things you can do. Over here, it looks like we got something, you know, spitting some flames or something over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Nah, it looks like they're done. All right, so well, we got Miatas over here, so let's go check the Miatas out. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Now, so let's check more of these Miatas that are here. Of course, you have a brand new Type R over there, which is really cool. Uh, you have this like iridescent, uh, and then plenty more. Uh, you have an ND Miata, you have an NA's Miatas, everything like that. They actually have an, it looks like an Integra. It's obviously an Acura Integra, but they've switched it to Honda bumps. It's a Honda Integra. That's really cool now, actually something that I haven't seen much of is a modded Civic. Here we have a regular Civic with a different gen taillights, which look really cool. You know, aftermarket taillights, like, as I said before, just getting creative with your car is one of the coolest things you can do. So I really think it's cool that people come here, they mod their cars and they come bring them here to show them off, which is really cool. Hey, it looks like we got a Ford Focus over here, so let's check out what he has under the hood. Let's see all that. There's an exhaust outlet right there. Okay, I have no idea of any of this stuff in here. I like the heat shielding, it's yellow, it looks really cool. Looks like. I don't even know what that is. Somebody in the comments let me know what that is. I, I don't know what all this is. I, I really don't know what all that is. Nitrous. This look like nitrous, because nitrous would have been blue. And there would have been a NOS can. Let's see if he has a NOS can somewhere. No, it doesn't look like there's any NOS can. All right, let's go over there and check some stuff out over there. This is pretty cool. So we got some trucks over here, which is pretty cool. See, we got one running too. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's doing anything much with it, but it's really cool, you know. As I said, bring it, in, bring it, see, show off what you made. So let's walk over here and see what's going on over here and see uh, what other people have brought to the table. One of the funniest things is, uh, you know, you see caffeine and octane is the name of the show, but you know, octane is associated with, you know, gas. But it's really cool when the people bring Teslas here. It's actually pretty funny because Teslas, you know, a complete opposite of anything like octane. So it's really funny when uh, people bring their Teslas out here to the uh, show. But actually, there's pretty cool ones. You have some Model 3s. Uh, looks like we have a slammed Lexus LS over there. So we got this uh, Civic right here, Type R. It's all really, really cool uh, here. As I said before, that slammed Lexus is really cool. Um, that, uh, there's nothing there. There's like no gap at all. I assume this guy's probably on some type of air ride. 
There's no way he could really drive like this, but I'd actually be very impressed if he could drive like this. But I'm sure it's on air ride. We have a regular Model 3 over here. I really like this wrap. This wrap is really cool on this uh, Model 3. Uh, it's like this really iridescent wrap. Um, you know, of course, we got some more. We got a Model Y Performance right here, which is cool and all. Uh, we got a Model 3 Performance right there. Um, but actually, checking out over here, you got some more JDM vehicles over here. I love JDM. You have a Integra, it looks. Is this a. No, this is a Sylvia, isn't it? Yeah, this is a Nissan Sylvia. We have a slammed S2000 over here. It looks really cool. You know, there's some crazy stuff over here that people have brought to a Catherine Octane, which. I always love coming out here and seeing what all people have done to their cars and see, you know, just get some inspiration to see what else we can bring to the channel. And I was coming through at the Central lot. Of course, there's some really cool stuff that people have brought out. Um, you know, you have this 370Z. Now, if you want to see, you know, girth, that is one girthy wing. That is pretty awesome. That's a really uh, girthy wing right there. But let's check out, oh my God. Okay, so uh, if anybody knows what the Volkswagen ID4 is, it's uh, Volkswagen's new electric crossover. And we'll get one, we'll get a review on one pretty soon, but uh, there's one actually here. Um, you look over here, it's the ID4. I'm in there. Of course, there's no engine or anything like that. It's all electric and things like that. But yeah, we'll definitely get a review on this pretty soon. It's really, yeah, of course, it's a really cool car. Volkswagen's really bringing something extra, really good to the table. So yeah, I'll definitely get a review on that pretty soon. But there we have a preliminary look at the new Volkswagen ID4. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, like, and comment. We'll see that uh, ID4 on the channel pretty soon. But let's move on with the show, see what else uh, people have out here. Um, let's see, we got an Audi TT right here. It doesn't look like any type of big mods done to it. Just, you know, just uh, intake and things like that. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got a WRX over here, which is pretty cool. Right here we got a WRX. Now, of course, uh, Catherine and Octane being in, you know, right around the south, we always have a really good show of Corvettes that show up. Yeah, you have this Corvette right here, you have a ZR1 right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's a very clean engine bay. They've kept maintained this very well, which is really cool. Um, but of course, coming to Catherine and Octane, one thing that I'm always uh, excited about is the supercar presence here. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, looks like that we have a good few supercars here, actually. Um, let's check this out. All right, check it out over here. Okay, so behind me we have a 570S right there, which is really cool. I really like the 570S. It's one of my favorite cars. Um, over here, to me it looks like I don't know the official name. I think this might be a Pista. I'm not sh completely sure about it. But, yeah, that one looks really cool. We have a 430 right there. So we have another 430 over here, which is really cool. Really like the 430. Uh, we have Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio right there. All nice and cool. Let's see, let's go over here and check all this stuff out that people have. We got some Aston Martins right there. It's really cool. I really like Aston Martins. Aston Martins present a really good, you know, value because uh, you can get them relatively cheap. Back over here, it looks like there's actually a Huracan here. Huracan's one of my favorites. So let's, you know, swing right over here. Let's see. Looks like we actually have a five set, another 570s over there. There's a 720 over there too. Let's check that out real quick. Uh, or actually, no, the Huracan. That's a really clean one. Yeah, I really like that. It's of course America Rally, of course. X5M, of course, it's all really nice and good. Let's check that 720 out over here. Let's see, there it is. That's that's a beautiful color. I really like that one. So let's check all this stuff out. There's some Karmas over there. Oh, okay, so we have a blue Lotus Evora here. If you want to see a full review on a Lotus Evora, make sure you check out the channel. I've done a... Interruptions, am I right? So I've actually done a full review of the Lotus Evora 400. If you want to check that out, I have a video. Um, just check out the channel, subscribe. Uh, that There's a black uh, Lotus Evora review on the channel, so make sure you guys check that out. But we have a really cool blue one over here, again, with a Lotus Elise on the... But all really cool and it's great to, you know it's actually cool to have reviewed a car that's actually at caffeine and octane of course with any caffeine and octane show you definitely have to check out the porsche corner here uh there's always a good presence here and uh, porsche atlanta perimeter always brings their vehicles which is really cool so let's check out some of the stuff that they brought uh, of course you, know, you have some older porsches right here which is really cool um let's see oh there's a tycon over there let's go check you can see the tycon Let's see. 
Yeah, that's all really cool. I really like the Taycan. Taycan one of my is my favorite electric vehicle, really. Um, of course, you have Cayennes and things like that over here. This is Porsche. So Porsche Atlanta Perimeter really brings a lot of vehicles to show off here, which is kind of kind of cool. Um, let's see. There's actually some older Porsches, which I'm really interested in checking out. Uh, you know, older Porsches are some of my favorite cars out there. You know, I'm not too familiar with models and things like that, but you know, just the style that uh, Porsche used to bring to the table is always really neat. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, see, it looks like uh, there's a good Porsche presence here. Over there, it looks to me like that's a 992, actually. Check that out. Yeah, this looks like to me it's a 992 Porsche 911. Uh, I think it may be a Carrera S. Yes, it's a Carrera S. Um, I really like this color. Um, color's very unique. You don't really see a lot of supercars in that color, which is really cool that Porsche offers a variety of colors to choose from when specking out your 911. So if you're interested, um, you know, check out a Porsche. Behind me, we actually have a really cool, we have a uh, AMG G63 G-Wagon, which is really cool. You can really see it right there. It looks really cool. So let's take a walk around it. Um, you can really see everything like that. Um, you know, the coolest things. Yeah, G63 is a really cool car. It's, you know, it's actually funny to see it here all by itself. Uh, there's nothing really else here. But uh, let's see, we have a... Looks like a Land Rover... Is this a Range Rover? No. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. I don't know, this one looks like it's been, it has a Brabus on it. So it looks like it's been modded by the Brabus company that really mods a lot of the AMG products. Let's see what else there is. Oh, okay, over here. So it looks like Butler Tire and Wheels have brought their own little show. There's 7 Series, the C8 Corvette, 600 LT over there, which is really cool. Um, let's see. Coming over here, got another Panamera, which is really cool. Now, this uh, April show specifically was really focused on uh, classics. So let's go check out some of the classic trucks and things that uh, people have really brought out. Um, of course, right here you have, you know, older, it's a Viper right here. All really cool, really cool. Here you have a, you know, a vast array of classic trucks, which is really cool. Um, let's go check them out. Before I miss it, we actually have a, a new, new wide body Hellcat, which is really cool. Of course, you have that signature uh, horse, uh, that supercharged 6.2 liter V8 pumping out over 6, 700 horsepower, which is really cool. And this actually looks like it has a modded air intake, which is really cool. Um, you know, I will be doing a Hellcat review shortly, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you... But yeah, uh, make sure you guys subscribe. Let's go check out some of those Audis. Of course, Audi's one of my favorite brands. Uh, we got this. to catch that before uh, they stopped that. That was pretty cool. That's actually a race spec Mustang, which is really cool. Uh, you know, it's not something you see, but you come here to Cafe Noxie and that's one of the few things that you'll see. Okay, right here down here we have a blue RS5. Of course, the RS5 being one of my favorite vehicles. It's really cool. Here we have an A6 with a very cool S6. My bad. It's really cool. Uh, this color is very different. Uh, coming down here, you have some red toppers. I really like these rims. It's really cool. Uh, you know, Audi Marietta has really brought something cool. And of course, the king of them all, we have the RS7 right here in this really cool spec. Uh, you know, coming around here, you see those wheels. Some really cool wheels and, uh, you know, carbon fiber mirror caps and everything like that, which is really cool. Uh, you know, the RS7 is one of the best cars on the market, right? So actually what we found over there is a modded out uh, Odyssey, a black Odyssey. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, it might be something worth checking out considering they parked it next to a bunch of supercars. So let's check out what's so special about this Odyssey. You know, of course we have a 45A Mercedes GT, uh, another 45A, but you know, it's really cool. Why are these cars here? And then you have a, you know, a Odyssey over there. So let's check out what's really special about that Odyssey. Of course, it looks like you have those Type R emblems on there. Yeah, it's actually been lowered a little bit. It's really weird to see on a, that's very weird to see on a Odyssey. Uh, it looks like Boston, so. These are some Boston wheels, yeah. Um, the tint is really dark on this. It's really funny, actually. Uh, I don't know if this has any type of exhaust or anything like that. I can't really tell. But, um, you know, this is one really cool looking Odyssey. It's one of the few weird things that you'll catch out here at Caffeine and Octane. Is, uh, you know, 
You don't really expect an Odyssey to be here all modded out, but it's here. That covers the main stuff here at the April Caffeine and Octane. If you guys want to check out my next month, make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, I'll do more footage on the May Caffeine Octane, so stay tuned. But of course, like always, subscribe, like, and comment to see more amazing content. Um, I do car reviews every other day. It was really cool. If you want to check out any car, if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. But that's it for me. I'll catch you guys in that next video.